I'm going backpacking around Southeast Asia for about three months and um, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm taking with me. Um, so if you're new here and want to follow my Southeast Asia journey, then please, please do remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like so that um, um, YouTube pushes it to the recommended and other people find me and other people come and follow this journey with me. Um, so basically I have booked a one-way ticket, I've quit my job, um, and I'm off to Thailand. So yeah, I'm gonna be in Thailand when you're watching this. I'm not sure when this is gonna go live, or maybe you won't be actually. Depending on when I put this live, um, I will be in Thailand. Um, and then we're just kind of seeing what happens. We're planning on Indonesia and Vietnam, maybe the Philippines as well. Um, I've got a video of like what we've got planned so far and our budgets and everything. Um, so if you wanna check that out, I'll leave it in a card and I'll leave it in the description box below. But right now I'm gonna get into what we're taking with us. Um, so yeah, ignore all my winter clothes <laughs> over this side. I'm sorry, maybe one day when I'm a professional YouTuber I'll have a better setup. That's the dream, <laughs> but this is what we're working with right now, especially as I'm leaving very soon. So I'm leaving, it's Wednesday today, we're leaving on Saturday. No, it's Tuesday today. I've been unemployed, fun employed, for two days. And I've already lost track of what day it is. I like, honestly, can't deal. So I thought I'd start with talking about our backpack. This is the backpack we're taking with us. Um, I'm going with my friend Emily and we have bought exactly the same backpack. Have I got this upside down? Yeah, I've got this upside down. There's the backpack we're taking with us. Um, it is a 60 litre and it's by this brand, I can't say, for, I keep wanting to call it Four Clairs. Basically, it's from a shop in the UK. Um, I don't know if we have them in other places, but a shop in the UK called Decathlon um, and they do kind of like affordable travel sport stuff. So yeah, this was about £50. Um, really good size and I, it opens up like a suitcase. I'll show you, talk you all through it in a minute. Um, but yeah, let's get into this bag, shall we? When the girl is confused about her backpack before she's even left. Pray for me, pray for me. So as you can see, we've got this big compartment at the top. So that opens up like kind of how you would expect a normal backpack to, um, so you can pop everything in. But what I especially liked about this bag and something that I would um, have been told to kind of go for is the fact that it opens up like a suitcase as well. So it opens up like a suitcase which is really useful for being able to find all your stuff. Look at that. And then it's got all these like extra pockets. So that's going to end up being for my shoes, I think. Um, and it's got a big pocket there. And then it's got this big extra pocket at the back as well. Um, it's then, it's also got like this pocket here at the top, which house is a waterproof cover, which I think by the looks of the weather in Thailand right now is going to be really useful. Um, and then, yeah, it's got a pack at the bottom so bringing you in a bit closer this is the bag situation we've got the main pocket here a little pocket for shoes here that did take me quite a while to get open so um i feel like i'm gonna have to like learn a bit of how, how to get that open then we've got a slidey pocket here which is um on the back so it's the really structured bit which would be great for my laptop and stuff but to be honest i'm gonna put that into my small pack um and then yeah we've got this bit at the top which i'm gonna use for like wet stuff um, because that's what houses the waterproof protector. So yeah, um, that is a little bit about the bag and then let's show you what I'm gonna be putting into it. So I've gone with the geeky but sensible packing cubes. Um, I have seen about a million and one videos. Wow, this is a look, isn't it? Um, just have my breasts. Um, I've seen a million and one. <laughs> Why am I the way I am? I've seen a million one videos, um, I've been watching a million one videos and they all use packing cubes, so I'm gonna use packing cubes. So I've got one big packing cube, which is all my clothes, got one for my swimwear, one for my underwear and one for my toiletries. And then I'm gonna have like a makeup bag as well that isn't packed yet because I'm still using all my makeup. Um, and probably one for my like electronics as well. So it'd be two more little bags I'm gonna need to put in after this video is filmed, um, but I will do like a segment to it as well. I'm also gonna do a, what I'm taking in my carry-on bag, which is the bag that's gonna go on the front of me. Um, yeah, so let's get into what I'm taking clothes-wise. So this is my clothes pack here. 
Um, it's got all my clothes I'm taking so far. I've got a few more little bits to add in, but this is basically more or less what I'm taking with me. Um, so I'm going to um, basically go through and unfold um, everything that I'm taking and show you kind of like section by section, so like bottoms, tops. The cat really wants to come with me, doesn't she? Honey, I can't take you, but like everything in me wishes I could. Um, but yeah, let's uh, show you what's in this pack. So, I've got one long pair of trousers. These were going to be my plain trousers, but I just find them a little bit flamboyant. Um, but they are super comfy, so they can either be like travel day trousers, or they can be... Um, for temples as well when you have to have like your legs covered is kind of what I was thinking for those then I have three pairs of shorts so two are little jersey shorts so these are literally just a little pair of khaki jersey shorts uh, super easy like high-waisted easy to wear super 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 comfortable um, and then I have a little pair that are the same but with some frills on the bottom so again super easy to wear high-waisted to go with all my crop tops super super comfortable honey's just gonna get right in isn't she um, and then I do have like a lot of people are saying don't bother taking denim shorts but I like live in denim and I don't think I'd be able to deal with not having a pair of denim shorts so it's just a pair of high-waisted denim shorts um i don't know if i should take a belt because a belt would literally just be going with those um so yeah that is kind of basically all that's all the bottoms i'm taking so i i think i'm keeping it pretty minimal i think so let me know if you feel differently in the comments below um so yeah that's the bottom i'm also taking this skirt which is just a kind of midi floral skirt. I again thought this would be good for temples, um, just super easy, super light and super comfortable. So let's just roll that back up. And I'm taking a bunch of crop tops basically, just like absolute crop top heaven. So I'm just taking this plain gray t-shirt. Again, just goes with everything I own, uh, just a really simple grey tee, um, yeah more on the cropped side, um, so I'm taking that, I don't know if I'm a roller or a fold packer yet, I think I'm a folder, this rolling thing is not really working for me, then I've got this little high necked crop top from ASOS, just a little high neck crop top, I'm really aware that I'm going to buy stuff out there so I feel like I'm trying to keep it basic because of that. I've also got this black top which is the same as what I'm wearing now. I'm probably going to take this one I'm wearing now as well. So just a little black crop. Then my last top I'm taking is this kind of bit more fun one, bit more tropical. This one does crumple really easily though but again it's just super light, super easy to wear. Um, so I'm just going to take that with me too. It's this little collared kind of tropical Top. and then I'm taking four dresses so I'm taking this dress which is actually a pajama like nighty dress but I just think it's so cute it's just like a tiny little like strappy cami dress but I just think it's really nice to throw over swimwear and when we're going down to the beach and stuff because it's so light because it's meant to be pajamas it'll dry really easily and stuff so that's coming with and then I'm taking this maxi dress that I stole from my sister so again just like a maxi dress I also was thinking I could put under this any of my crop tops I want to wear to go to temples as well so um if I put a crop top under this then it covers my knees and covers my shoulders and like super um like respectful for temples um which I really like about that and this dress which is a bit more part eh? Well, a bit more fun, a bit more me, basically, than all the rest of my clothes. Um, it's just this gorgeous, like, off-the-shoulder, like, crumply, um, plaidy dress. It's so beautiful, this dress. You'll see it in my Instagram pictures. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, it, the link is always down below, but it is just Ellen's in Wonderland. Um, and then I also have one other dress I'm taking, but I need to iron it. It's just a, um, let's see if I can grab it for you guys. If you watch my Mexico vlogs, you'll probably know that I just lived in this dress when I was in Mexico um, because it's like it's you just feel like really dressed up and pretty in it but also it's so easy to wear so it's just this gorgeous little like bright pink short loose dress it's so so pretty yeah 
so cute so i'm gonna take that with me as well but i'm gonna iron it it seems maybe seems a bit crazy ironing it but i feel like it's the right thing to do i'm gonna pack that all into my packing cube now and uh, see if it fits in my bag um it's obviously gonna have to come out again when i'm when i need to pack the um the what do you call it uh that pink dress but that's okay that can happen later but yeah it's all gonna fit really nicely in there and i'm leaving loads of space as well because i feel like i will buy stuff out there um like the clothes are cheap and really cute and i feel like i will end up buying stuff out there so i want to save space for that um so yeah that is my first packing cube just need to put that pink dress in once i'm ready to go so I'm just going to test it fits, but I really feel like it will. Yeah, it literally fits in there. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that packing cube um, set down below because I feel like they're perfect for this backpack and a 60 litre backpack. Um, so yeah, on to the next bit. I feel like this is just my boobs. I really need to sort this out. <laughs> That's got my... That's got in my bras and knickers and I've also got in there my pyjamas. So I'm taking one um, pair of like, let me show you actually what I'm taking pyjama wise. So I'm taking these little shorts. Perfect. Then I'm taking a little grey vest to wear as pyjamas and these little shorts as well and then I'm taking they're in here there was also a, like a, just another t-shirt that says don't fall in love fall in pizza on it so it's just another little <laughs> crop t-shirt but to be honest I can probably wear all my t-shirts as pajamas anyway so popping that in that's just going in with my clothes like so Super. so I've just organized out all my swimwear that I'm taking with me so I'm taking quite a lot of swimwear firstly again a stolen number from my sister I'm taking this gorgeous little purple swimsuit with this really fun back um this is also I think for bigger booby ladies so it's got like this um like sticky bit on the edges which is like a bit of everything to be honest I actually got two swimming costumes honey sorry so I've got this one as well um which is just a pink floral number that you can do tighter at the front to squish the boobies in to be honest how have i mentioned boobs so much in one video it's like absolutely beyond me to be honest um then i've got this little number from a uh, pretty little thing that i need to take the tags off so it's just pink bottoms and like a ribbed pink top to go with it so i need to take the tags off the bottoms before I put it in because I'm kind of like detagging everything so I don't have to worry about it whilst I'm out there. Then I've got this kind of a blue, I love this swimming costume so much, it's just like a blue bandeau bikini um, and then it's got these little things on the side so it looks like a little top. This is like one of my faves and it really holds you in and it's just oh I love it it's so so cute um so I'm packing that and then with that it came with these like big ones so I've got these like really like Bridget Jones pants ones I'm thinking it might be quite good for if I'm on my period at all whilst I'm out there um because you know how I just feel more comfortable if everything's like covered and tucked in and then I have these like also sexy ones that go with them too um for on a non period day and i feel like these blue bottoms go quite well with the pink as well so i'm kind of keeping it so i can mix and match all my swimwear um and then i also have this like like what would you call this a dalmatian print which is like strappy at the back um this i didn't like the bottoms for so i've kind of mixed and matched it so i'm gonna wear this with like my pink or blue bottoms because i think that'd be really cute um and then i could wear my red bottoms as well actually which i've got a pair of red bottoms so i can mix and match all of those i don't think that goes with the blue or the pink but it goes with the polka dot um so that's fine and then i've got my favorite bikini which is my blew me up on instagram bikini <laughs> i joke um is this little like uh floaty 
tied number as well which is underwired as well which I love I might try and get another underwired bikini top actually from so where was this from I think it was peak and boo um I'm also so that's all my swimwear done I'm also going to put my gym stuff in here so I'm just taking a little pair of um shorts these can also be worn for sleeping in but I wear them for yoga um and then I've got my yoga bra as well so I'm gonna take that with me this is also just really comfortable to wear day to day it's literally just a why can't I find the front of it there yoga yoga bra um just gonna stuff those in there as well there's still a little bit of room in there too so everything I'm packing I'm packing with a little bit of room um just in case I'm gonna get that in there now as well So next I'm going to go through my shoes. So I've actually got um, one more pair of shoes I want to take with me and a pair of trainers. So I feel like I'm maybe excessively shoeing at the moment. But basically I was sent a pair of shoes, two pairs of shoes by Javianas to shoot while I'm traveling. Um, well, these are the ones they sent for me to shoot while I'm traveling. So I'm going to take these with me. They are super cute little Javiana sandals. And I think once I've broken these in, they're going to be insanely comfortable because I know Javianas have that reputation. Um, and super easy. You can go and water in them. Like, just super easy shoes. So definitely taking these guys with me. Then I'm going to take these just because I know I like these. They're really cute. They are on their way out. They were from a charity shop. Um, so they were used before I even got them. They're on their way out, so I'm sure these are going to be ditched somewhere along the way but I'm gonna wear them out in style and wear them out in Southeast Asia. Javiana's also sent me these really cool flip-flops. Um, I'm not gonna take these with me, I'm gonna keep these for my next travels because I don't want to wear both of the Javiana's out but um, yeah they're just a pair of red normal Javiana's flip-flops. Um, so yeah an awesome pair of shoes. So I'm gonna take my slides because they are so comfortable, so easy to wear um, and great for like if a shower's a bit icky and that kind of thing as well. Um, so definitely taking those. I'm also going to take with me my Doc Martin sandals and my trainers. But I'm gonna, I am gonna—I haven't decided which ones of those I'm going to wear on the plane yet. So that was two more pairs of shoes, which is maybe getting a little excessive. So we're stopping scheduled broadcasting. Because we're going to go around and see how Emily's doing with her packing, basically. That's such a good idea. So I've got it. You can literally have it around. Ralph hates it. No! Who doesn't like it? Um, um, this is how Emily's packing's going. It's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> mine, because I've been filming a video, mine like, looks so organised. There's so many pets in this video, it's unreal. Really? Really? Yeah, you climb over the bag, that's all good. All good. Um, slightly unhelpful. Slightly unhelpful. Um, so, but Honey's been sitting with me. But yeah, mine looks all organised, just only because I've been filming a video. So I've like yeah. made it look all organised. Well, and then I've got these bags, so this has come undone. But these are my bags to go up in the loft. <laughs> Honestly. You're getting there though. So I've got three, I've got this skirt as well, which I thought is just like a nice maybe going out one. Yeah, I've got. And it's got two slits. It's cute. Like a, but I'm struggling. Look, Emily, done. ready to go. I'm already done. Okay, next I'm going to pack all my toiletries. Sorry about the lighting change, it is night time now. We just went for a walk around the common um, with Emily's dog and Mel's a baby. Um, so yeah, the last thing I'm going to do is um, my toiletries and then on the day of I'm going to do my makeup. I think I'm going to put that in my bag I'm going to take with me on the plane. So um, that's going to be a whole separate video of what I take in a long haul flight like hand luggage. But yeah, so this is all the toiletries I'm taking. So we are taking obviously toothbrush. Um, I'm taking big bottles of um, shampoo and conditioner. Um, these are for me and Emily to share and then also um, so I don't have to buy them out there. Taking bug spray. I've been recommended by multiple people that this is the best bug spray to take. Uh, jungle formula. So I'm taking that. Then I'm taking um, nail file and nail scissors. I think scissors are just quite handy to have anyway in case we need them while we're out there. Then I'm going to just take some simple wipes because I actually don't intend to wear a lot of, I know, sorry, I know these are really bad for the environment, um, but I don't intend to wear a lot of makeup whilst I'm out there, so I'm just going to use this to uh, take on and off my makeup. If I do wear any, nah, it doesn't want to focus on that at all, does it? Doesn't matter, you know what simple wipes look like. Then Factor 50 sun cream. 
um, and I've actually heard that it's good to buy this um, at home because um, it's hard to get a non-whitening sun cream out there and it's hard to get ones that aren't um, that oh god why is this not shutting um, hard to get a sun cream that is made for Taurus because it's really expensive toothpaste then shower gel we've just got this one because I wanted to keep it tropical it's just imperial leather shower gel then I've got a little uh, deodorant, just a roll-on, a roll-on jobby. Then I've got this, which is just face oil. Um, this is also good because I stretch my ears. So um, this is good for getting my plugs in and out. So I need to take that with me. And then I've got a uh, hand cream, but I do use this as all over body cream as well. Um, it's just um, seaweed hand cream um, from Green Angel. I love this stuff. It also makes any room smell like a spa, which is just the best thing ever, right? So I'm going to pop this in this top bit of this. Oh, I did not think that through. <laughs> Everything's falling out. Um... So, sorry, I've put all my shoes into there. I've decided against taking my Doc Martin sandals. And then this, I'm just going to pop into this top bit of this bag here. Um, so there is like a big kind of pocket at the top here, which is going to be where I keep my toiletries. And then, I think that's pretty much everything. I'm also taking a wet bag, um, which was kindly donated to me by one of the girls at work. Um, but she said it's really good for if you go like kayaking and stuff, or if you just want to put in um stuff that you need for um like you don't want to get wet in your suitcase as well so i'm just going to stick that at the top there i oh, maybe i'll stick at the bottom actually yeah it's going to get it down there at the bottom um and then i'm also going to take this is one extra packing cube and i feel like this will be good for all my like dirty stuff i'm just going to stick that in this uh side pocket here for now because i don't really know where else to put it um, I do actually still have space for my makeup in here. Oh my god, this side pocket is also huge. So I can fit my makeup in here as well if I need to. But yeah, that is everything I'm packing so far. Hi guys, me again. So I just wanted to come back with a few totally essential things I completely forgot to pack in my previous um, edit of this. So I'd forgotten to pack razors, so I've just bought a pack of disposable razors, little hand sanitizer. I'd also stupidly forgotten to put my towel in because it was in my other bag, so I've just got one of the like extra large microfiber towels. This is again just from Decathlon, and I also got this like fold away rucksack for like when we're doing beach trips and stuff. I was thinking this could be really useful because it's just like a uh, little tuck away backpack, so I don't have to take my proper bag. I can just take this with everything I need for the day in it. Um, I've also got these like travel little oils that my sister got me, so I'm going to pack those as well. Um, and I got myself a bigger um, pack uh, carrier for my all my toiletries because I felt they were quite squashed in there. So I'm going to use that, end up using that one for my makeup basically. Um, so yeah, that's a few things. Um, I also just had to go out and buy a pack of mac because I realised I'd forgotten to pack that. So this is just a cheapy one from Sports Direct, but at least I've got it now, so I need to put that in. Um, and then also tampons. Completely forgot that I'm probably going to need these while I'm out there. I'm sure I can buy them out there, um, but I thought I'd take a few of me just in case as well. Um, I then picked up this this little spray too, so I can feel like I'm wearing perfume <laughs> whilst I'm out there. It's just a really cheapy, easy, nice spray. Um, and I think that's everything I'd forgotten to show. Um, I've also went to a shop called Neon Sheep and picked up this little uh, tag. What are they called? A carabiner. Carabiner? I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but... Bought one of those to put on my backpack that I'm going to use to attach my like travel pillow to when I'm not using it and stuff. Um, and then just this little sparkly luggage tag as well that I'm going to write my details on. And then this is also um, good so me and Emily can tell our bags apart as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to chuck all that stuff in, get my makeup packed, and that's kind of the end of the video, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you're as excited about watching my travels as I am. And um, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.